You know, something I really enjoy when people say, you're a conspiracy theorist. There's no such thing as microbots and, 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 and these genetically modified things you speak of. And I say, really? Okay. This is a microbot grabbing a human sperm and carrying it into an egg to help with conception. In this case, a rotating magnetic field drives and guides the sperm butt in a screw-like motion towards an egg. After the sperm reaches the egg, scientists are able to reverse the motor to back it off of the sperm. In addition to using the tiny motors with sperm, this also opens up the possibility in the future of using such technology to help other vitamins and medicine reach their desired points of destination in the body. Well, damn. Imagine that. <laughs> Now imagine what people would say if I said, you know they can go in through your eye and insert nanobots back there? People would look at me like, bitch, you crazy. But let's take a look, shall we? Not at my crazy. A tiny delivery vehicle they could drive to deliver cargo quickly to specific parts of the eye, particularly through the dense jelly called a vitreous tumor. So they use nanoscale 3D printing to create small spiral-shaped delivery boxes. The box was nearly 200 times smaller than the diameter of a human hair. Their tiny size and a non-stick coating made it easier for them to pass through the tight matrix of the vitreous humor. The spiral box also contained magnetic material, which meant the researchers could drive them forward, backward, left or right. Hey, but what do I know? What do I be saying? I don't know. And let's do this. Let's look at the last one here. Let's listen to this last one here together. About technology where microscopic computers basically can infest a human. It can take over the thoughts and all muscle function. Uh, basically, you would be able to be controlled by these parasitic uh, devices uh, the technology has already been developed, it's already been tested. I personally was involved in several experiments through the use of nanotechnology, and the results were terrifying. Yes, you hear that? Do you hear that? 